Hey everybody, this is Frixen Walker with Prater Gaming, and this is our 3DH Thursday night stream. For those of you who don't know what 3DH is, it is a format that we play on Magic Online where all the decks are just three ticks. So about three dollars on Magic Online. Um, so we're gonna be playing uh, Atraxa, Athreos, the Gitrog monster in Phoenix tonight, and seeing who comes out on top. Yes, Melon Pricks, everyone is playing black and no one is playing red tonight. Everyone's playing black, nobody's playing red. All other colors are represented in some way, shape, or form. Um, but we will be right back as soon as we get hands and things. Um, so see ya in just a few. Sorry, everyone. MT Joe was not exactly co cooperating with poor Phyrexian and decided he could not have more than two lands in his hand for the longest time. Um, but now I have lands and things? Question mark. I don't know what I'm going to do with this hand other than play this Evolving Wilds and go uh, search for uh, uh, planes, I guess. But I am playing Atraxa. It is Atraxa plus one, plus one counters. Um, so no infect, no... Uh, super friends, just plus one, plus one counters. Nice, friendly neighborhood attracts instead of the two boogeyman attracts decks. I did do a deck tech on Wednesday night, um, so if you want to see that, that should be in the VODs, and hopefully it'll be going up on sometime on Wednesday about this deck, and actually an Anafenza, the foremost deck, that I also built as plus one, plus one counters, with a cheaper commander with one less um, available color. So that might get played if we see a game two. But uh, Dez, what are you playing? Tonight. I'm playing Arkelos, Arkelos, Archibald, and uh, Master Ugwe. He, yes, he either, if he's untapped, everything enters untapped. As long as he's tapped, everything enters tapped. So that means lands, creatures, whatever. Um, there's a lot of ways that you can actually play him. Um, obviously, the Boogeyman is stacks. I'm obviously not playing that on stream. Um, I'm more of a landfall heavy uh, version. Uh, there's absolutely zero stacks cards in here besides Arkelos himself, if you consider him that. Um, Seth has seen the deck list, and he can uh, confirm that I have zero stack pieces. Mm. No stasis, no winter orbs, no nothing. Eh, that's good. Okay, Roundtable, what are you playing that I like more than what I'm playing? I've got, I've got a, I've just got a nice big old frog right here. Uh, <laughs> Called it! Call Sorry, I called it. <laughs> Just with that earlier conversation, I had to keep uh, that. Hold on. Sorry. G keep, keep going, round table. I'm going to explain why I had to yell out called it later. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, it's just good old-fashioned get rock deck. There's there's nothing too special about it. Um, there was a chance for me to squeeze in Crucible, but I opted to go with a couple more middle-of-the-road cards because... Uh, I'm a sucker for Deathrite Shaman, and it's only like 20 cents on the cheap, and I already owned one, whereas I didn't have a Crucible, and I didn't feel like borrowing it. Hey, I offered. You did, and once I uh, get some more ticks, I will probably redo the deck to have it and take out some of the other random cards. Okay. And well, Aethes, who just played Alter the Brood, and we were literally talking before the stream about... Uh, turn one 3DH plays, and I said, I think Alter of the Brood might be a pretty big one, and Wayfarer's Bobble might be the most uh, most popular turn one 3DH play. And then here Aethes is playing Alter of the Brood on turn one, but what are you playing sure am. with this Alter of uh, the Brood, Aethes? I am playing uh, Phoenix, the uh, Demir God of Deception from Theros. Mm. Uh, and we can only and... assume what your theme is from the first card you played. Yeah, I, I don't know what, what, if you could possibly guess what I'm going to be doing with this deck. Mm. I know uh, I It's can. probably going to evolve a lot of cards and turn graveyards for some reason. I, I could not possibly predict what was going to happen. But eh, it's, it's maybe kind of obvious with Phoenix, but yeah, he's not, there's not that many of them that can actually do mill semi-effectively phoenix one of them and i enjoy the strategy yeah that's probably fair okay well we got ah. commanders and things we have an arbor elf that just hit me for one so roundtable decided that he wants the first hit from atraxa whenever she gets the swing and Let's alter everyone 
Alter everyone. Shalai, Walking Atlas, final part parting. Go in the graveyard. And another altar trigger. Haha, -ha, Mind Stone. Arcane Sanctum, Wilderness uh -oh. Wreck, and Golgari Thug. Oh, Wilderness Wreck is a hard hit there. I'm not overly happy to lose my Shalai either, but Golgari Thug, Roundtable's just like, hey, thanks, Aethez, buddy old pal. So I made two Atraxa decks in paper. You ready? One is all negative one, negative one counters, and it's called Subtraxa. And the other one is all Exalted, because all the Exalted cards are in Atraxa's colors, minus red. So just smack with Atraxa. She already has Vigilance. I, I mean, it, I'd be surprised if all the Exalted cards weren't in Atraxa's colors, minus red, because... That's all. Red doesn't have exalted. Magic. Yeah. Yeah. Well, red doesn't have any exalted cards. Yeah. But black got some in like M twelve. Yeah, because there was ones. a thing about a big demon that cared about exalted. Being like, ha ha, you all worship me because I am th the big demon. Isn't that the like the Overlord of Nyx? I'm glad because someone's calling out that attracts a wow, color statement. Dude. Rex Sage on the altar of the brood. Wow. Rude. Rude dude. Very rude. Ooh, that's a spring leaf drum. That's a way to tap his commander. Look at him. Said he wasn't playing stacks pieces. That's not a stacks piece. <laughs> uh, that's definitely a stacks piece. It's not. It creates mana. Uh, look at this guy. Kill him first. Sounds like stacks. Yeah, creating mana is definitely a stacksy thing to do. Yeah. Especially when it's We're all playing itself. Then uh, Aethas is playing stacks because he has a Mind Stone. Arbor Elf, uh -huh. Round Table's playing stacks. Uh, Phyrexian's Phyrexian about ready to play stacks. stacks. Hey, hey, don't call me out. This is Gyre Sage taps for no mana right now. Yeah, next next creature you play. Next creature I play? Why would I play creature? Unless you somehow managed to play a 1-1. One -one. That's true. If I played a 1-1, one -one, it would not evolve. That Arbor Elf gonna get swinging on somebody else this turn? Oh, Aether is taking that hit from Arbor Elf. He's gonna be an angry elf for a little while. This Arbor this Elf Arbor does Elf. not want to untap that forest. It just wants to whack people in the face. Yeah, uh, this this Arbor Elf, it's not on mana duty. It's on man duty. This elf was made for walking. And that's, that's just what it'll do. The... How fun. I will say uh, that my deck in paper is 300 bucks. That's only three ticks. Yeah. 2.99 ticks that on MTGO. The beauty of the 3DH format. I have, I think the most expensive, the least expensive deck I have right made right now is like 100. And the most expensive is like 450. And that's my Blizzard Trader have deck. My lovely Demir Doppelganger. Everyone put on Everyone your surprise faces. Surprise. Do it. Do it. Do it now. Do it now. Oh my oh, god, it's a trap. Right, you'll have to take my word for it. Put on your surprised faces. Who could have believed that you would play Atraxa in your Atraxa deck? Who believed that I would play my commander ever? You were right. I'm going to proliferate some things here. This, this. Insanity. Done. Okay. I proliferated some things. Things, crazy. things have done been proliferated. They sure have. Hmm. So, when uh, you did the intro, you pointed out that Melon called out the lack of red and everybody playing black and stuff. Well, he called out everyone playing black. I distinctly called out the lack of red. So, Aethas random rolled and got Phoenix, and I was like, I wonder what I would get. I actually rolled my mono red deck that I have. I rolled Kumano Master Yamabushi. Oh. Uh, that deck needs a lot of work, and my, you know, paying work was uh, pretty darn busy. So I was like, I guess we don't have time to fix this. So there was almost a mono red commander instead of one of oh. these black ones. He's already doing the thing. I paddled Arkelos because he's been a bad turtle. <laughs> That. Oh no. I not do not again. appreciate that. <laughs> not again. Hasn't Master Ugwe suffered enough? No. Nope. Not at all. 
Uh, just beating on a poor turtle. Is he already dredge? Hey, look at him. Is he already dredge? Nope, not yet. I'm just no, curious. I don't, I don't have the frog out yet, so I'm not in a rush. I'm a sucker for dredge. I'll dredge anytime there's a dredger in my graveyard. I'm wondering if Aethes isn't going to exile that, though. I mean, turn. it doesn't really do anything if I exile it. Like, it stops him from milling himself. Uh, it does a lot if he of... plays Getrog this turn. It does a lot. The, looks like he might be missing a land drop. Uh, even if he had a land drop, it enters tapped. Missed my land drop, but that's okay. That's true. All lands do enter tapped right now because of Arcolos Ar the turtle. Turtle power. Unfortunately, I, this Arbor Elf now is on mana duty. Wow. On mana uh -huh. duty, eh? Yeah, so Dez lucks out and does not get... Uh, let's. Des do... doesn't get hit for the, the damage. The elf. The mm. elf on the shelf. I would welcome uh... the elf on the shelf. Oh, you're getting the walking atlas, eh? Little rampy pant. Little rampy yeah. pant. Why not? That's fair. Yeah. Look at him. Look how cute he is. Uh, now I have to actually, you know pass manually through my turn instead of just saying hey uh, it's i'm just gonna <laughs> just gonna go i know i have to pass manually because you know things i can activate grumble grumble things uh, you can activate. what is phyrexian up to dastardly deeds uh no nothing right now i'm gonna play a land uh, that's gonna come you. into play tapped and then i'm gonna play some other things probably no, you play two lands that come into play tapped already. You should be fine. Yeah, I don't. I don't mind playing my lands tapped for the most part, to be honest. You got like four, five, six mana. You're fine. Ah, giving the plus one plus one counter creatures a life link. That I am doing. Okay. And who's Phyrexian hurting? Ah, uh, Dez. <laughs> I have one Does less Dez... mana this turn because of Dez. That's more insulting than being hit for one. That's understandable. I may have could have done things with that one more mana. We'll never know. We never will because I don't have it. We'll wait until next turn. Ooh, ooh. Uh... Hey, remember, life is not a race. Life is not a race. That is what Arcalos says. Arcalos said, unless you're Milton Bradley. Ah, that's not really a race either. More hmm. of a game. Play my desert. But what does Turtle have to say? Play the survivor's encampment. Look at this guy. He has three ways already to tap that Arcalos. <laughs> you gotta be able to tap him. I love it. No, it's great. He's uh, like the version of Amara. You just gotta make sure you have a an insane amount of ways to tap. Do, do, do. Let's go to combat. Combat wombats. Yeah. Are you just gonna tap uh, with him this what? time? Uh oh. Just so I can have this land untapped. Unless you oh, don't want to attack look at that. Combo Wombo. Look at this. Look at this guy. Look at this dude. Bring your turtle to my uh, my angel. Uh, that doesn't sound like the best of trades. He was already attacking Aethas two turns ago. He just didn't realize it yet. <laughs> <laughs> It just now got to him. You know, I want Aether, I want uh, Arkelos altered as like a slow poke, like slow king or slow bro. Oh man. Really sweet. Mm. It, could, uh, it could also be interesting as like a uh, slacking. Like with Truant. No! Nah. Yeah. <sighs> no, I feel like Arkelos. Like he looks smart, bit too bit too so, like, mystical like that. to be big dumb sloth. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about Dez just passing with three cards in hand. Yeah, I only have three cards in hand. 
And, well, you have like seven mana. <laughs> I mean, only on accountability. Roundtable still just holding back, not playing lands, trying to outlive this Arkelos. Dust Mental Guild Mage. Hey, that's a combo piece. It's also just a good card. Eventually. Get it sure in does. here. Man, I really hope there's no cards in my deck that are advantaged by entering tapped or something. Uh oh. Uh oh. Hey, look at that. Inspired. So you're welcome. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks. I'm sure everyone appreciates this. Nah, I don't care that much. To me. Well, I care. I care, Phyrexian. And is total poopy dukes. So, while you guys are all rocking Snowlands until Kaldheim comes out and I can actually afford them because I keep forgetting to buy them when they come out in a set. Uh, they look nice, though. I like the... I like the frosty border yeah i chose the uh trees forest because get rod cares about lands and then i chose the swamp with the uh eyeball i forget which one that one is witchcraft i think uh witchcraft. With an eyeball and get rod has an arm sticking out of his mouth so you know body parts it's just chub toad like chub toad was get rod monsters high school photo if there was uh, a swamp that had just like a big frog in the center of it would you be running that instead? Uh, what we'll is go around Probably. the table? Around the table going, we go. Around. You're around, going around. around the table. Haha. Uh -huh. Because you're hitting round table. Is this cyclonic rift already? This is eight mana. Yeah, but ever tap for eight mana. Or is this... Uh, just want to draw uh, five Blue cards. Zenith? Ah, Blue Sun Zenith. Oh. This, is this counter magic here? <laughs> I gotta get go cards. I don't, I don't want to take damage. And also, uh, I need to ramp, right? Because I don't have any lands. So... Let's see. The Death Sprout. <laughs> uh, get my oh, ramp. no! <laughs> Yeah, Ooh, I'm not feeling the that. Intervention. Right now. <laughs> Fair enough. I, I kind of want my commander to stick around right now. I kind of just want to draw five cards. Yeah, you can do it. A. Hey. You can do it. Nobody's stopping you over here. No, oh, oh. I would have expected that to still let me search. Oh no, it gives him hexproof. Never mind. Yep. Never mind. Uh, there's only target. one target. So Can't target. Right, right. I, I was just, I, I was hung up on the indestructible, and I was like, that shouldn't matter. <laughs> oh, yeah, the hex proof is what matters. I drew like four lands off that. Hey, hey, that's pretty good. That's good. Now you won't draw them later. Fair. Mm, yeah. Not doing anything with your. Five mana? No, not right now. Hmm. I'm guessing uh, you're going to be spending some of those Fertilid counters, though. Fertilid counters? What do you mean? Ah, uh, I'd love a retreat to Gazandu. I, I just say things. I don't actually mean anything. Even I don't I know if I even have retreat to Gazandu in this particular deck, but I would love it. Look at this. Look at this cheaty cheat playing these lands. Wanna get wow. To... Completely insane. The value. Here, since you were complaining about it, I'm just going to bounce my survivor's encampment. So there's one less way to tap him. I mean, I don't care if you can tap him, really. Life. I don't Too think any of my spells there. cost more than, like, six in this deck. So... It making my lands enter the battlefield tap doesn't matter, and very few of my creatures, if any, have haste. So without swift Boot boots or lightning greaves, them coming, my creatures coming to play tap doesn't particularly matter. 
that's yeah, that's that's a reasonable way to look at it. Yep. <sighs> Man, that that blue Come sun's in it's really didn't give me anything, huh? <laughs> you got seven <laughs> cards in hand. How can you, you have, have seven nine? cards in hand? Six Des only has lands. one. Eight, I mean, eight Des only has one. I only They're have two. Lands. They're lands that don't do anything. And round table has they do things they gain you life or put one one counters on creatures. That, and round that, table that is stuck on three lands with five cards in hand. So, Frexian, you know what you could do? You could help him out by hitting him with Fertilid. I could, except he tried to kill my commander. So, <laughs> how dare he? Yeah, I don't want my commander to die. It's a pretty decent commander. It's one of the uh, which of it? Which of the honestly, I probably would have let it go if it didn't also fizzle his death sprout. Ah, it yeah, was but... too much value to pass on at that point, though, because I have enough mana just to recast attracts the next turn, so it wouldn't have mattered that much if I just let it go and just recast her next turn. True, true. Skullwinder. Ooh, ooh, ooh. You target me. Pick me. Pick me. Pick me, and I uh, won't hit you with the Traxa for two turns. Well, if he's going in a rotation, he'll hit you in two turns. No, I won't. I won't hit him for the next two turns if he picks me. And I promise I won't bring back I mean, if you Intervention. Pick me, I'll bring back Shalai. I think we should get Aethas. I'll bring back Shalai. Do not let the Altar of the Brood come back. I think the Altar of the Brood needs to come back. Pick me, and I'll get Shalai. I promise I won't get the heroic Intervention. I mean, if you pick me, you know what I'm getting back. It's the only card that's in my graveyard. That's the... If you pick... You're really going to let him get his Wilderness Wreck back? Ugh. Wow. He probably has a way to get rid of it. I hope so. I might want to just Far Seek, though. You said your entire hand is Lance. Just get this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh. Letting someone get back a Wilderness Wreck. That's an interesting play. I don't know if it's the play I would have chosen, but it's the play we're going to live with. I would have I just mean, chosen Aethas. I, mean, I don't know if Ultra the Brood... I, well, I honestly was tempted to pick Aethas, because once I get my lands back, I can play Gitrog, and then I, I get value out of Ultra the Brood. So yeah, I probably should have picked Aethas. That's why I said pick Aethas. I would have picked Aethas over Dez for sure, and maybe over me, given what your deck is. Haha. -ha. The last card of my hand was a land. Secretly, a land. Not a land. Oh, oh you fool. Ooh. He tricks us all. He gots us. Now you're uh Demir and your Kimbishalai. This card's a card and then Mill's a card. Ugh. Oh no, I wonder what I'm gonna what I'm gonna discard. Is it a land? <laughs> I think it's gonna be one of the lands, I my friend. I'm gonna discard this. Not happy about uh, it, but it is what it is. You gotta do what you gotta do. Card. Ooh -wee. Hey, if it was up to me, it would have been another turn before this did this all, so blame Des. I'm gonna discard my card draw spell because that would have sacrificed <laughs> the mana producers I had. What did I get rid of? Uh oh, Arcane Denial. Got rid of land. My only counter spell. Hmm. Neat. Uh, Arcane I guess denial. it's time Wait. for the Fenex. See if I can get Fenex out. Fenex is out. Aha. Mm. The other most played one drop. Yeah, there you go. You got both in the same game. Haha. <laughs> How dare you? I'm hoping this draw is good. I want a good draw here. I just want anything. I just I just want anything that is uh, in the land. Who said you were allowed anything? That's very fair. Uh we'll get a forest and 
get a <laughs> All right. So let's see what Phyrexian's up to. Hopefully, good things, but who knows? You have one card in hand. I think I went a little bit too deep on the lands thing. Maybe I just have too many lands. Uh, that's Quitter Talk. Quitter Talk, that's fair. Catharsis Crusade. Not a bad card. That's a bad card when you don't have any creatures in hand. <laughs> then it can be, yes. Uh, I don't even think any of these other ones apply, so I guess I'll just do this. Do what? Did you disconnect? Nope. I'm doing this. Oh, it's just destroy target enchantment on. Oh. Okay. Neat. And then get some counters. Yeah. My two life. <laughs> hey, if you want to, you could have tried to destroy uh, my god. It's not a creature. You didn't let me get cards. Oh, it's an enchantment. enchantment. Yeah. And you look punchable. And you can block with your whole board, right? Yeah, that works. I could. I don't know if I want, it. like, but you're allowed to. Damage. It's like you're allowed to. It's a lot, but it's not enough that I want to give up my creatures. My creatures are pretty decent. That's fair. Mine can go away. I don't need them. <laughs> Mine are but meant to be sacrificed as fodder. I got zero cards in hand. I could stand to draw some of the draw on this deck. I used them and didn't even call them in the morning. What a bastard. You monster. I'm such a slag. All right. We're proliferating. More counters. Woohoo. <laughs> deck does a thing. Sure does. I really hope I get a uh, Sun Zenith again so I can draw things that aren't lands, but I'll probably get punished and draw more. <laughs> I mean, you draw always need more lands. More <laughs> land. Oh, God. All right. Was it another <laughs> land? Uh, somewhat. If you want, I can keep helping you clear out your hand. Well, we know he has a wilderness wreck, so he's definitely playing that. Would he... Would he really? I feel yeah. like honestly would have held on to the collective effort, tracks, except but... I know you're just going to siren of the silent song somebody. I'm well, I mean, scared. deck does a thing. So I knew I was going to have to discard it, so I didn't hold on to it. That's that's fair. Yeah, that's fair. what does Dez have? Lots uh, of how is Dez going to tap his mana to play the Wilderness Reclamation? <laughs> And is it relevant anyways? Because he's I playing Wilderness Reclamation. I'm going to play this. Targeting. Ah, please. Juco, uh, my one altar of the brood, please. I don't know. There's, like, Phyrexians looks juicy, but so does Roundtable. Who do you think is more likely to be able to utilize their graveyard in this game, though? Hit, hit my snake statue, please. Because I'll tell you, I'm all in on the plus one, plus one counters. Hit my statue. But you know what else gives a plus one plus one counter? Den Protector. Denny P? Denny P doesn't give plus one plus one counters. It enters the battlefield with plus one plus one counters. I don't care about that as much as I care about things yeah, that that's give not them. good enough. Turns face up and puts a plus one plus one counter on himself. Yeah. Yeah. It gives itself one. I don't care about things it, that give itself one. It does not beat Phyrexian's high standards. No. Fair. You got me. Hey. You can waste it if you want to. I can bounce it. It's not a big deal. I'm just saying, I do have zero ways to recur things in this deck. Well, now you yeah. definitely don't have anything to recur, so we don't have to worry about that. <laughs> I, I was planning on taking that Shalai eventually. 
Yeah. I told you to take it last turn, and you didn't. I have to play other things. Well, I don't know what to tell you. I have many cards I need to play. Many cards. It's a zero so many cards. Play this. I know our scout, eh? So lands and lands. Lands. So I can, yeah, so I can put the rest of my lands into play. Hey. You do You'll it get there point. eventually. Lands, 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 lands. I'm going to play this just to make sure I can tap down oh. maybe a Traxxas so it doesn't give me an ouchie too hard. Oh my so, gosh. Did you mean to play it after you tapped your Arkelos? I have. Uh, oh shit. Yeah, I meant to cast it <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, mistakes were made, kids. But I can do this. Uh, <laughs> it's an easy enough mistake to fix, it's a, but. Yeah. It, Oh, in right. paper magic, I would have been like, oh, yeah, I cast this before, but Bodo doesn't let you do that. But yeah. thank Just goodness, casually I'm plays unopened. a Staff of Domination, everyone. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm going to utilize gonna that. that tap target creature or draw a card. Because, boy, am I tired of these lands in my hand. Uh, what I'm hearing is that you want to draw more lands. I don't. I probably will, though. I wish Land of War Scout had haste. Uh, well, it does not. It's a green card. Hey, there's some green cards I've been giving haste lately. Thanks, Mara. Hmm. That's true. Well, it's not one of the good green cards, so it's it's not allowed to have haste. Hey, so Roundtable can finally play the Get Rug Frog if he wants to. So does every set get, like, a five-mana mythic green creature that just is really good? Yeah, that kind of feels it that way. Yeah, yeah. I is mean, that just space? Is I think, that just design space? I think it is. You got to make sure that green and blue are getting pushed <laughs> very, white. very heavily. Yeah, <laughs> poor white, man. Very, very heavily. Oh, uh, here it is. Here, here's Chub Toad 2.0. There it is. That's the other reason Boom. I wanted to hold on to the, the collective effort. But I knew I was not going to be allowed, he says. But I... You you can't blame me for what Des is doing. <laughs> no, I, I, this time the siren the siren is all going to be on you. <laughs> that, that I know. So attacking anyone with that one three looks like not. No, that that one three is a block and one three. Look at that death touch. Oh, Mill and Des. Wait, what does that do? I would like to see what oh. other cards you have. Oh yeah, Phoenix on play. I'm like, yeah. how did I didn't know Siren of the Silent Song? Sunscorched Desert. Cool. Yep. Get that last point of damage in. <laughs> Let's see what other lands you have. Oh Thank you for getting Frozen rid of Oh no, Simit that Simit. makes mana. <laughs> it's basically a land. And what else you got? Ah, Death Sprout. Death Sprout. No, oh, that was my Death Sprout. <laughs> to go get more lands. Uh, I should. I knew I should have drawn a card. Haha. -ha. You had no way of knowing. Well, I won't have I to discard, but bones. I will mill. I will definitely mill. I will definitely get rid of this. Is it a land or discarding? Probably. It is. The rest of the cards in my hand. I hate how these graveyards just keep on closing on me. Herald of Secret Streams. I could have used that. I would have, oh, another could land. Have. I would have definitely taken that card. <laughs> <laughs> that oh, one kind of hurts. Draw card. Are you going to dredge? You better dredge. Hmm? Dredge, dredge. Hmm? Yeah, round table. Sorry, I forgot I finally got to play my Gitrog monster, so... <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a lot of land now. Oh, man. A lot of lands that time. And an Edge of Autumn. Well, I guess Balaged doesn't count. Mm-hmm. Let's see. I would have loved to have what? that Herald of Secret Streams. That would have been nice. Yeah, well, sometimes you're not allowed to have nice things. Yeah, I know. 
I know. It'll probably be a land now instead. Uh, da, 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 da. Let's just uh, pass over to Phyrexian. That's fair. I would pass over to Phyrexian. Ooh, shiny cat. But how would you how would you pass to Phyrexian if you are Phyrexian? Shiny cat. I don't mind that one either. Counters. Counters. Deck does a thing. Sure does. Deck does a thing. It makes counters. Uh, that's an interesting card. Counters, 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 more counters, counters. <sighs> so many graveyards. So many graveyards. So little time. Who are you going to be attacking with that Atraxa? I mean, lots of people, probably. That's There's someone with now? nine Atraxa damage. Hint, hint. <laughs> if you're looking to kill someone quickly that's probably the best bet but then what will the viewers think that don't, you're some don't, kind of don't think Phyrexian makes off the plays killer uh, you do get the other two though haha -ha. Uh, do I want to block with Land or Scout? I think I do. Yeah, you probably do. Save six you life seems scout. like a good block for you. That Scout's terrible. I Land War Scout. You served me so well. Yep. You died as you lived. Underneath an absolute dumpster truck of a creature. Draw a card. Got a dumpster. Got a Draw a card. Dumpster. Oh god, it's a land. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Wow, wow, wow. Hey. Uh wow, 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 wow. We're gonna proliferate because deck does a thing. Would you just let it me proliferate, sure sir? Does. No. <laughs> I wanna gain a life. <laughs> Give me it. Oh, yeah. I'll slowly claw uh, my way back up. Really is going to be clawing. That just keeps you on the throne and makes it more likely that my other non attractive creatures attack you again next turn. All one life. Done. You're at the highest life total of, of someone who isn't Phyrexian. That is true. And I can't hit myself, so... Please, deck. Please. Draw anything but a land. Or gets a land. Okay. Please. Uh we'll find out if your deck is that kind. Oh come on. How many lands are you running? Like probably forty, right? Thirty eight? It has to be a high number in a land stack. Tapping, tapping out, out to cast. He's too embarrassed. He's too embarrassed. He's not even going to tell you how many. What's the undo key? <laughs> Control Z. Is it F2? It's Control Z. Yeah. Oh, that's so much simpler. All yep. right. Good old Stand Windows. First. Yeah, so I'd like to enter it untapped. I'd like to float a black. You don't want to float the back from Bajukabog instead? Uh, oh, that's also a good one. That That would have been a good decision. Oh no, I couldn't tap it. Oops. <laughs> oh. Well. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Somebody get a punt in the chat. How there, much is it to untap a creature? Three? Oh, oh god. <laughs> punt. <laughs> punt, 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 punt. Oh god. How much mana do I have? Paying five and then untapping it? Uh, how much is it? Three? All right, hold on. Let me think. I can make... If I tap this to make a... three. One, two. Come on, you're three, almost four, there. Five, six, seven. 
No! Oh my god! Yes. Yeah. You're one off. Damn! Can you not yeah. draw the two cards? You can only draw one card. No. The, oh god. I, I meant to tap the. Damn it! Uh -oh. <laughs> I don't know what you're doing over there, but it's very worrying me now that you need <laughs> that much mana to do it. We are now at a okay, dead I have punt a, count of. I have two? a black. So one, two, three. Tap uh -huh. this for a creature. Tap this for a land. Yep. So I need this. He's deeply in the think tank. To be black. The tank of think. Mm -hmm. Three. Four. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two. No! Oh, God! <laughs> Have oh, you figured I, out how you turn yet? It's probably just gonna be fucking pass. Uh, so brutal. Wow. You should at least use the Staff of Domination to draw some cards since your lands are gonna untap with uh, Wilderness Wreck. Just, yeah, just to help you out. Like a good idea. Just to help you out. I'm being friendly, Frexian, right now, trying to coach you. Do, do, do. Uh, well, uh, eventually you'll I got to fertile it in a dream nine. here, folks. A fertile it oh! in a dream. <laughs> I'm so mad. This turn would have been so much cooler. Oh, well. Wow. That really worries me a bit. Does that worry you guys a bit? Uh, some amount, yeah. Because how much oh, mana does he oh, have God. right now? I mean, you can keep tapping them. It's not going to change the amount of mana you have. Card. I'm just going to draw a card. I hate this. this <laughs> Your so mana situation isn't going so to change. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. He had 11 mana, and that was not enough or not the right whatever. No, because I needed the, the black mana. I needed a way to untap <laughs> So it works. Otherwise, it doesn't make sense. Uh -huh. Oh, God. Oh. Haha, you were distracted. To my graveyard. And now Wayfarer's Bobble is better. Wayfarer's Bobble is better. Uh, Des oh. was distracted, so he didn't tap Zarkelos in response. So I got that land of the Oh, you got an untapped that. land off Bobble. Oh, look at you. <laughs> look at you living high on the hog over there. Haha. -ha. Three, one. I took advantage of Dez's intense emotional trauma of messing up multiple times. Uh, Probably what you should do. Uh, <laughs> all that's left is to untap the staff and draw another card. Probably. Eventually. Do, 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 Stop do, it. Do. Stop it. <laughs> I'm almost done. <laughs> there. Wow. I I got responses. Mm, harsh. Ah, uh, eight mana. Yeah, I got a lot of manias. You gonna be finding some lands? A few. Yeah. Oh my god, I'm so embarrassed. <laughs> I'm so embarrassed. Oh god. Uh, come on, you'll get it eventually. So you were trying, you were trying to Cyclonic Rift. You were just paying. No, rent. I don't have Cyclonic Rift. Oh, God, no, I was not going to. I drew this card off of Staff of Domination. That's not the card that I was like, oh, I need one more mana or anything. No, I specifically needed third black. You had three black. Not enough. Uh, you needed Arkelos to be untapped. I needed Arkelos to be untapped. Okay, that's fair. Yeah. Oh, God. And my timer's down. Oh, and I'm started. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm like 14 minutes underneath everyone. Oh, God. Fine. Fair enough. Oh, no. It's and I got a discard of land. Oh. I just want to cry. I just want to be in a fetal position and cry. Wah, wah, wah. I can't believe I did that. That was such a dumb click. I just clicked it like, oh, maybe it'll...
bug out and let me tap the bajuka bug for mana. Maybe yeah, it'll be fine. I was a fool. I know. I just. I'm sorry. I feel <laughs> partially sad. responsible because I did suggest to you that pulling the bajuka bug back was a better play, which it was, but it did I mean, lead into your wrong. folly. But it was an uh oh yeah. that I had to suffer. Yeah, that's fair. Just a small mistake. <laughs> oh, I'm like crying on the inside because it have been so cool. That <laughs> uh, sounds like you're crying on the outside. You might, you might still have a chance to do it. I mean, my body is crying. School of Grove Dancer, eh? Land is put into your graveyard for anywhere. Gain a life. He's trying to gain the life back that I took from him. You'll find that you'll never truly regain what you've lost. Mostly because it was commander damage. Yeah. Atrax is a little bitty baby again now, though. Oh, you got my crossing grip. Realms Uncharted. Yeah, that got milled a while ago. Looking at it. What do these realms have to say to you? And who will tell you? Four lands with different names and reveal them. Can I be the opponent? Uh, it, I've I already, already been chosen. chosen. Huh? Gosh, I have already been you chosen. You won't let me do anything fun. No wonder I'm trying to kill you. You wouldn't let me bring a thing back from my graveyard. <laughs> and now you won't let me do the Realms Uncharted? You are not letting me have fun, sir. Uh, let me just double check. Okay, chosen cards go to the graveyard. Got it. Be fair, I don't, I don't even know what I want to grab. I just that's probably that's, uh, I mean, this is a 3D. Really how really many really busted really lands could you have? I feel like I 11. Don't have any busted lands, like the the one land you always grab with Realms Uncharted is, of course, Stack More Salvage. And then apparently, from what I can see, everything else doesn't really matter. Uh, I guess we'll click on that one. And uh, sure, let's click on let's click on a cycling land. I'll definitely make sure you put the Dagmore Salvage in its hand. But other than that, let's see. So the selected ones are the ones that go to the graveyard. Cool. Yeah. Uh, it's the green one instead of the Evan Stronghold, just so I have color diversity. But you know, whatever. Yeah, put the chosen cards into your graveyard, and the others into your hand. Yeah. I know the two. I would, I would, uh, if if I'm allowed to speak and say what I would do, I would put the Blighted Wood, Blighted Wood, Baron Moore in his graveyard, and the Dakmore Salvage and Eben Stronghold in his hand. That's how I'd split. Uh, that's kind of the plan I was going for. Good plan. <clears throat> like I was debating between the Finding More Lands and the Stronghold, but I'm like, ah, uh, there's not really that much. Like the the downside to it isn't that big a deal. Yeah, that's fair. Is able to get more lands out. Eh, hard to say. I'm so embarrassed. Gaining small amounts of life due to you should be you should be embarrassed as terribly and shamefully embarrassed. Someone kill that Arkelos. <laughs> <laughs> I think I have enough mana to cast them again. Yeah, but you won't have enough mana to cast them again and do the really cool thing, so you'll spend another turn regretting and lamenting oh, the fact I'll, you can't. I'll, I would rather do the really cool thing over casting Arkelos. I thought you needed Arkelos to do the really cool thing. I could have done the really cool thing with Arkelos. It just would have just been a cool thing instead Round of table. a really what cool thing. What is with this, frog. this aggression towards me for no apparent reason? No apparent reason other than the imminent Atraxa death that's natively one point away from commander damage win. Actually, when it enters, it'll be exacts. Yeah, well, it might be exacts. We don't know. Aethes might could remove my Cathar's Crusade. Well, it, whenever it enters, Cathar's Crusade is just going to give it a counter, so it's going to be a 5-5. Five, five. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, it enters as lethal. Yeah. Well, I said that Aethes could kill my Cathar's Crusade. We don't know. Aethes won't. We don't oh, no. know. Aethes might. Aethes is looking... Look at Aethes. Uh, I think this uh, doppelganger is going to turn into an elf. Wow. Hey, get that land into play. 
no, no. Just eat. I, it's basically the same creature, uh, except bigger. Yeah, yeah it's, it's got a big booty. booty. Yeah, man. Oh, God, would you stop hitting me? He is on the mill plane. Well, uh, you're once you're on the mill plane, once you're on the mill plane, you just keep going. Painful truce, Lone Dryad. Your deck really is lands, 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 dude. I know. I love it. I love it. It's very thematic. Okay. Retreat to Hagra and go very rock farm. Oh, did you need the retreat to Hagra? Kinda. Not really, but kinda. And reality shift. Oh, reality shift. There goes my there goes my second form of creature <laughs> removal. Alright, it's all gone. <laughs> <laughs> I am now this. Oh, and we got a discarded mill. Oh, discarded mill. Put a land in there and then mill a card. Yeah, it was, it was, it's time to throw away this swamp for only for another really good card to get milled. I don't know. Should I just draw? Oh, I feel if I draw, I'm just going to get <laughs> smacked. <laughs> it's so even hard worse card to get milled. If you draw, yeah. you draw land. And if you don't draw, it's a good card. It's just you're dar darned if you do, darned if you don't. It's always a bad decision. Isn't it? Oh, thank you, Siren. I will discard this deck more salvage. I mean, I knew that was going to happen, so, like, yeah. I was prepared for it. Oh, no! Conclave Mentor! Another way to search lands. Uh. <laughs> that puts more 1-1 one -one counters on my things. I want that. Oh, no. What am I to do? Hey, I got Deathrite Shaman. Deathrite Shaman. <laughs> oh, my God. There he is! He would have been oh, you know so what? good right now. That card would have been so good. Oh, you could turn into a Deathrite Shaman. I will turn into a Deathrite Shaman. Not a bad card to turn into right now with the Graveyards. Uh, uh, you can get and lands. You know what? I feel like I should add a mana. <laughs> oh, wow. Know. Wow. That's so rude. I'm hitting him for commander damage, and that's rude. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, you can draw. Uh, now, do I want to use this mana? No. I mean, you've got one card in hand. You've been holding on to it for a long, long time. Uh... Nah, I don't need to use this mana. Doesn't use this mana. Huh. That could not possibly live if I played it. I have three ends in my hand. One is a Bajuka Bog. I but mean, my deck has significantly more removal, but I don't I don't know. Oh, whew. That, sir, my fertile gets a lot worse with that. <laughs> <laughs> well, you better I mean, counter yeah. it then. I don't have a counter. You know all the cards in my hand except one. And this deck is actually not running any counters. I have not been paying attention. Um, as you can tell, because. Oh, there, there it goes. Son of a bitch. You're getting milled <laughs> and exiled. Do I get to see the four cards first? Okay. And then you just have to look uh, at your exiles You get to see them afterwards. Oh, Lanawar, Vidoc, and Ari, Lanawar Counterspell. <laughs> Counterspell. <laughs> Damn it. Jeez. Vidoc and Ari and Counterspell. Right. Some bangers. I, I, feel like, I feel like I've been... I'm over being milled, please. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> just because it messes with my Fertilid, that thing does need to die. You know how much I like my land value. Yeah, yeah, you do. Hey, does I'm gonna yeah. let a strike a deal with you? Okay. <laughs> What's the deal? None of my lands will look at you crossways if you stop killing me. <laughs> I didn't realize that your lands had eyes. They can one day. They'll grow up to be big and strong. But until then. <laughs> Uh, hmm. I'm, I'm going to throw cards, up. That's okay. <laughs> I'm just going to throw up. <laughs> My staff doesn't do anything about that. 
Oh, man, I am very happy I ended up with this deck. This has been a blast. It has. And here comes Atraxa. Yep. For even more counters. Now it's lethal plus one round table. More <laughs> counters. <laughs> I mean, it's going to be a lot more than that by the time I'm done, I hope. And I mean, this is going to come to play tapped anyway, so we'll just play it tapped. Planeswalkers shouldn't be able to activate their abilities if they're tapped. Uh, they're not artifacts from beta. <laughs> I'd rather have that one or that one. Probably uh, that one. Obviously that one. Yeah, probably that one. Yeah. Just Man, that blue sun Xanth is gonna get like knock me right in my ass now, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Drawing five cards and we go under <laughs> beneath everyone. I yeah. mean that was partially the reason I started milling you. It's just like mm, you have you have a lot of cards you've already drawn. I'm 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 willing to, to do a truce. I'm willing to, to do a truce with you. And yeah. round table. I'll keep Arkellos <laughs> untapped. For at least you two. Hi. Uh, I I'm down for a truce or for a turn or two. Not gonna lie, uh, pretty sure without something seriously impressive happening that it does not matter what you do for me. Wow. I'd rather get hit for seven than nine. I wasn't gonna hit you at all. They were both going at the Ashiok. Hey, now actually I can't get hit because I've got an indestructible creature. So that way he was going to be either forced to block with one of his creatures or lose Ashiok. Nice. This, man, this ceasefire is already paying off. But now I'm going to hit you for seven. So you better <laughs> untap and tap the Fertilid down too, I guess. Hold on. Hold on. Let me Let me do something for you real quick. Okay. Are you going to untap it? It's already untapped. Yeah, I'm going to untap it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now he at least has to block. I, I tapped out and did absolutely nothing. 14 minutes wasted. Yes! Uh. I just gotta attack the Ashiok. And that helps us both out because <laughs> I want to be able to use my darn Fertilid that has seven uh, plus one plus one counters man, on it. I want to have no basics in my land. My creature deck. for him. I don't I don't know if I'm feeling the ceasefire. <laughs> Listen, you're milling me and I'm sorry. <laughs> he needs the Ashiok to die. But you're gonna save the Ashiok. That's what the plan was. Yeah, that's fair. I figured you would. I'm just going to get milled for hard a lot, so it doesn't matter. Uh, you know, I'm going to support at least the spirit of our ceasefire, even though you've obviously proven you're an untrustworthy ally. You never said yes or no, so I feel like there wasn't really an agreement. Unless I mean, there was, and then I'm sorry. <laughs> one... Two, three, four, five, six. Okay. I was just double checking the math so that Phoenix doesn't spontaneously stop being a creature so I can't tap him anymore. Yeah, you got the black from Death Right Shaman. What if he could? Which is weird because it actually loses a devotion being Death Right Shaman. Sure does. Done. Look at that graveyard. Oh, that's X out. Um, Never mind. No one has a graveyard except for Aethes. And... Phyrexian has two cards. Yeah, I might have to Bujuka bug him again. I don't trust him. 
Arkelos is slow. He he's gonna realize in a couple turns that we made a treaty Aethes. <laughs> in a couple turns. Like I, I don't like the sound oh, of that. Yeah. In a couple turns I realized that we're uh we're friends. Yeah. I'll just pitch those two, I guess. For now. Alright, how much mana can I make? Alright. Not enough. I drew another land. Uh <laughs> All right. You want you want lands, right? You want not lands. anymore. I'm over. I'm over lands. I'm over Arkelos. It's a lands deck. I have it untapped. I mean, hey, does, are you okay with your graveyard going uh ohs? Do you have any way of getting anything back? I mean, I'm a mill deck in Demir colors. What do you think? Yes, he has no. ways of getting things back. <laughs> Wait, you do? I actively have a card on my battlefield that gets cards back. Which one is it? Is it this? It's the doppelganger. Wait, it's a... The doppelganger. Oh, but that's from a graveyard. Yeah, yeah but nothing yeah. in your graveyard right now. That's metal guild mage. Yeah, like if I. If, I mean, if I you drew... can exile my graveyard, but his Ashiok just does that when he minus ones it. Okay, that's. Yeah, I just, I just, I just... You've, you've successfully done nothing for the last two turns. <laughs> Good job. I did it. All right. You did it. Let's, this should have been last turn. Okay, let's let's see what you got. This should have been last turn, he says. This should have been last turn. Is this like a board full of wait, crazy wait, wait, zombies? Wait, 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 no, no, I'll over tap. There go. There we go. Army of the Damned. That's what I figured it was. Yeah. It's pretty cool because they all enter untapped and they're all blockers. Yeah. It's a lot of blockers. That's why it's really cool. Otherwise, it would have just been a cool card. Yeah. So here they are. Got a lot of zombies. I got 13 of them. 13 Zombos. Quite a lot of Zombaba, please. All right, I have 36 minutes, so I'm just ending my turn. <laughs> yeah, this Wilderness Wreck for you is uh, costing you a lot of time. Without much results. I don't know without much results. He's drawn significantly more cards from it, and... He's been able to bluff a counterspell every single time as they get Three lands. I have, I'll tell you what they are. Guildless commons, holdout settlement, and I drew a snow cover. The sad spell. part is you aren't going to be able to flash back that army of the dam because Aethes is just going to exile. I'm not. If I would have played it last turn, the zombies would have been untapped and it still would have been gone. So, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I time walked myself, okay? Roundtable does the things. The Gitrog things. Sure does. Can I just tell you that Army of the Damned was a last minute include? I can, I I can actually, understand that. I saw it in my collection. I was like, oh, Army of the Damned, they enter Tats. Oh, Arkellos. Oh, wait. Uh -huh. yeah, they don't. They untap. Ooh. Synergy. <laughs> now it's just eight mana for 13 tutus instead of tap tutus. Pretty says, don't use Ashiok, please. Let me have this, please. Please. <laughs> please. Let him have a board full of tutus. I just want to block. It's more likely Frexian. that that last card in his hand is a board wipe, and he board wipes both of us, and then it sends our graveyards not... into exile. Oh, oh, Aethes? Oh, yeah. definitely. It's definitely either a land, a creature, a board wipe. Nothing in between. I mean, you did just name most card types, so... <laughs> A land creature or board wipe. Which is yeah. usually either an instant or I do, I do think, I, like, I'm leaning towards board wipe just because I know that he has not had, like, there's not been a good time to board wipe when you, like, took all my creatures off and he knew I was going to replay them all. I mean, and before that, it was just like, ah, you know, he's playing on beating round table to death. Why do I want to kill his Atraxa? Can, can we talk yeah. about why Distortion Wake isn't instant for that much mana? Oh man, Aethes is Aethes is uh, holding the board white, but uh, Roundtable is going to win I right hope here. Roundtable wins. Roundtable looks like he's doing a good job of he's doing, doing something. He's doing Gitrog things right now. Sure is. Heat to extinction. <laughs> wow. <laughs> that actually gets rid of Phoenix. You should kill him, Rep. You should kill him, Aethes. My deck's entire modus operandi and engine. I, I have to kill the Ashiok. So, I mean, I'm dead either way. 
Oh. oh. So you're trying to get, get the Phoenix gun so you can kill the Ashiok. Oh, you're milling me? Why would I mill round table? No, I I thought you were on the mill des plan. No, I'm, I like the mill Phyrexian plan. That sounds a lot better. I, I'm I'm pretty sure <laughs> multiple times I've said we're on a ceasefire. We are on a that's you know what? I'm as slow in my decision making and play making as Arkelos is as a card himself. Probably true. Oh. Your decision, sir. Oh good lord, that was a great hit. Oh my god. That was all like I had all bangers coming up right there. <laughs> Let's just get rid of them. You don't Not a that. single land in the whole bunch. Merciless Eviction, Austere Command, Tusk Guard for the Tramples, Ajani for the Vigilance. The worst card in here is Astral Cornucopia. Whew. That's rough. That's oh, really well. rough, buddy. Can we talk about those Ashok not going down, please? Uh, can I get my tokens? Seven, eight, nine, ten. Two, four, five, six. I mean, he's seven. trying to kill Ashiok, and Ashiok's definitely dead if he wants to kill her. You don't have to kill Ashiok. I mean, I would like to try to play the game. I don't. I, I, it could stay on the board. I don't search. I draw. I don't, I don't like the minus one part. But it could stay as a card. That's fine. As a card, it's fine. I don't like anything. I don't. It's evil. Well, I no longer have Ashiok, so I guess you don't have to worry about your uh, army of the damned in your graveyard. Yeah, that army there's of the two other black. There's two other people playing black Bajukabog, or something is happening. Bajuka Bog is a lot of money. You spent a lot of money for that Bajuka Bog. I did. <laughs> that could have been. I respect. I respect it, but you spent a lot of money for it because right now it's it's a significant chunk of the budget. Isn't it like sixty cents? I uh, yeah. didn't realize that until I realized where did all my money go, and I was like Bajuka Bog. I was like, oh, well, you know. It is really good. That's fair. I wish it got a reprint so it would come down some because it used to be like eight cents back in the olden days and everybody just ran it. So it was quite See, good. See, I just typed in my list into the into the Excel sheet. And then I took out things that were like over or didn't come up. But this is like my deck in paper in a sense. So all the decks I have on here are what I have in paper or or close to it. It's interesting because all of us have like 57 cards or 50. I have 50. You guys both have 57 cards left in your graveyard and Aethez has 84. It's and it's not like entirely Aethez because I've drawn a lot of cards and Roundtable's drawn a lot of cards. That's pretty much what's put us there. Um, other than, I guess, Aethez, you milled me for what, nine the last two cycles? The last cycle? Something like that. Something like that. Oh, my timer is going down still. Whoops. Whoopsie. Well. Come on, round table. What you got? Oh, wait. Um... Is it round table still turn? Yeah. Is it still turn? Oh, oh, my God. He ain't ended it yet. <laughs> my mind's all over the place. Speaking of, have you liked commented and subscribed to any of prater gaming's youtube channel well that was a good time to do it yeah definitely like comment subscribe and binge and ring that little bell and watch all the 3dh games we have available there are, there are quite a few now from season there's 10. a lot quite a few to binge watch look at our and, colors. and the He's last one is like very very long and we apologize for that sort of um, what do I want the least from my hand? It's actually probably this Gyre Sage. I'm discarding this damn snow-covered swamp because I'm tired of it. Get out of here. Wow. Get out. Get. Let's see Get what other here. banger you have me mill here. <laughs> I'm so scared, actually. Oh, please. Oh, please. 
The Kadama's no. reach. I guess that ain't that oh bad. Oh my god. Tat Yoba. No. Tatty. No. The value oh fish god. herself. Good oh. night. Oh. <laughs> that hurts. That hurts. Oof. Woof. And round table, just draw more card. Draw more card. More card draw? More card. Draw more card. <sighs> draw so many card. Dredge more card. The poker little dread return. Dread return, pretty good. If there's any decent creatures. I guess there's a Spoko Primordial. Anything else? World Shaper. Yeah. Got some things there, don't you, Rounds? Uh, maybe. I just have to I just have to live until my turn to try and do things. Yeah. Live until your turn. What is this foolishness you speak of? Hey, I, I hope you don't mind if I borrow this. Ooh. He's gonna make a Teddy Yoba. I can't do anything about it. That's a pretty good card to make. Thanks. I was. That's really feeling fish has arrived in the lands. And what does air quotes Tatiova give me? Ah. Uh, da, 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 da. Hopefully, one of the lands I was gonna draw. Uh, well, uh, <laughs> no time like the present. No time like the present to you know try to force it. Yep, I want to do something too. <laughs> is it draw a card? Yeah. Oh wait. Okay. Uh. How many more counter souls do you have in your deck? I don't know. Future fi. Eh? <laughs> mm, that's fair. Uh, can I draw a card, please? <laughs> can I draw Eventually. my land? Future uh, fight in under than sparring call. Not terrible, I guess. Yeah, I was I was holding the future fight and I'm like, well, I'm gonna have to hope for the best here that I can get her tracks out of there, otherwise I just die to her. Sure. <laughs> Let's draw another card, please. Yes. And what's Des pulling off the top? A land. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Sure. Okay. I'll untap it. Uh, no! Now I wasted two turns getting this <laughs> dipped. Wait, where did it go? Oh, okay. Oh, At Moto, you scared me. <laughs> I thought used to it as going to the graveyard, then asking if it wants to go back. This game sucks. <laughs> hmm. I don't know. I'm having a fun time. I'm having a good time. Okay. Let's start with, with this. Find out who dies. Chaos, that's a pretty good card. I'm just I'm just yielding through this turn. Yeah, we'll draw some cards, why not? Yeah, that's pretty good. Alright. Let's move on to this. Do you think you've drawn enough cards for Exion? Uh, never. Never. Enough cards we will be when when everyone else is dead. Uh, yes, pretty much. That's that's the plan. 
Let's play more card. That chair does look like more card. More counter, more card. More counter, more card. Draw card. Draw card. Draw card. Draw card. What card? Uh, I don't know. I don't think this time. I think this gets played. <laughs> ah. Now draw more card. Uh, now is now is the time for more card. I understand. Now is the time for more card. Now is the appointed time for more card. Huh. I feel like you need more card. You feel like I need more card? Probably. Do I really need more card, though? Yeah, you're probably right. I need more card. If only you had another mana, you could cast a Traxa and still use it to kill a round table. I mean, I just draw more card, though. That's all I'm doing is drawing more card. Yeah, his, his guys are going to get bigger and bigger. He can already kill two of us. Yeah, but it's not the same as if he was killing you with a Traxa. I'm going to draw more cards. I'm going to I'm I'm let you in on a little secret. Phyrexian's concern has never been up to whether or not he gets to do something silly like kill with commander damage. Wait, it hasn't? What is this? I mean, in the case where doing so doesn't detract at all from winning, I've seen him do it plenty of times. Yeah. Lots of times. Uh I mean, I might draw my entire deck here, but we aren't sure about that yet. Ah, uh, that might be what we wanted. Okay. That might indeed be what we wanted. All I know is uh, if Phyrexian's only able to kill two people, uh, one of those people is certainly me. <laughs> Given how many card I draw? Uh, yeah, just because, like, on the off chance, say, I top deck Mind Grind, it would probably kill you. That's fair. Um... Uh, hey, now you can I... make a bunch of green mana. I can make I can a bunch of green mana. Water. I was going to say, I'm pretty sure you just have lethal for everybody now. Do I? Do I have enough? Yeah, just throw the green uh, on the Corpse Jack Menace. Uh, Fathom Seer is big enough to kill Aethes, and then two of... Two each for everyone else, yeah. Uh, but I... I I'm gonna... Um, feel free to spin your wheels for a little bit. I don't... I wish you hadn't said that. I mean, I vamp tutored for trying <laughs> for the Lord. Now he knows Lords. about the optimal play. Now I know about yeah. the optimal play, and I don't feel like globetrotting, but... I. I just vamp tutored for Triumph of the Hordes to put it on top, so the next time I draw cards, I have a Triumph of the Hordes. I know. I wanted to spoil your fun. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I'm going to pretend that I don't know nothing about the foolishness you're talking about. I'm going to draw more card. And try to use it to cast Triumph of the Horde. Yes. And then I have the card I was looking for, so we're just going to... Looks like you need four mana, which leaves up three creatures. Uh, yep, that checks out. That is that is the plan. And over here. Because we want to hit you guys with the most infect damage possible, obviously. I mean, obviously. 
because I didn't come to play a tracks and not play Infect. Completely. So trying for the Hordes is a one card. All right, let's see. Um, Aethes is the closest to being able to kill me. Uh, Dez kept my things tapped down all the time. And then round table, yeah, you know what you did. I uh, tried to play the game. Probably. Uh, tried to kill your commander multiple times. And succeeded, some of them. Yeah, he killed it the last time. I played lands and, and then Army of the Damned. You nah, sure your commander kept on making all my things under the battlefield tapped. Good. 190 life. Not too Are you bad. sure that's enough? Woo! I was looking, I was actually looking I for I wasn't either... lying about my hand. I revealed it. I don't know if I still have cards or not, but uh, I... Um, my favorite player was Dez, because... Lands. Uh, Dez, you're... Like... Fathom I mate. understand what your deck Silly was card. trying to do, but... Yeah. <laughs> yeah, uh, that's there what happens when you draw all the lands. There's a couple, that, uh... But there were a few moments of some minor miscalculations. <laughs> hey, life is In not... Race, yes, uh, we understand. A race. A race. It's not. Actually, you know what would be a good alter art for him? Actually, Frankenfurter from Rocky Horror. Wow. Because they do, uh, Antista... Patient. Oh yeah, I got three hearts. Dez I don't know what that the, does. Dez gets the most votes. I gave Eighth as a heart. Yeah. I think it's funny the uh, matches on MTGO that say must vote for a winner because it's like these don't even matter. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Yeah, what do they do? But, but they need. What are these... They just need to, that if they win the game, they need to know that they're gonna get the votes. No, uh, but what are the votes even it does do? Nothing. It does nothing. Oh, cool. yeah. what a waste of my time. I already wasted a few minutes thinking. You're the winner. I, well. Can I tell you some of the cool things my deck should have done? Sure. We can talk about cool things our deck should have done. Uh, I could have made a giant villainous wealth. Uh, uh, I was I was figuring you played that. Maloku and patron of the Moonfolk, the Sorotami, uh, allows me to get infinite landfalls as long as I have a bounce land. Wow. Uh, that with the hag, that's why I was like, oh, the hagra kind of sucks because I didn't want to say like that was part of a win condition, oh. but that's part of a three card win condition. And uh, you had the combo wombos. I tried. And then I also had like boundless realms to make all my six come play untapped and get a lot of like ETB triggers and stuff like that. Spore mound. I really wish I, I only saw one, you play one card with landfall though, so I hardly believe it was a landfall deck. You know, you would have thought that, but I drew, like, all of my lands, and, uh... That did happen. It kind of sucks when you have a landfall deck, and you don't get any of the landfall pay like, the landfall payoffs, and just get the lands that fall into the play, and then I'd just be sad. What What about you, uh, um, Roundtable? Were you playing the usual get rog combo wombo nonsense, and just got off to a slow start, getting stuck on lands at the beginning? Uh, I mean, it had the discard outlets it had the like the skirts familiar and stuff but uh it was mostly just pretty common get rog stuff okay. and eighth as we all know what you were about you were just trying to milk i people. was running mill but but did you did you have like the uh the good combo mill combos the combo wombos with combo mill yeah so the like standard recommended thing for fenax is like Ah, do you, do you want to play Mirko Vosk, where if you're able to hit someone, they mill until they hit four lands? And I'm like, uh, that sounds lame. Yeah. And slow. Not very So good, instead of it? that, uh, I mostly just went for all the different combo applications. Like, uh, actually, the Blue guard Chief, on the field for a while was one of them. Uh, yeah. The Siren and the Silent Song. Oh. Because you have, if you have Siren... Um, either of the three mana blue auras that untap a creature and paradise mantle, uh, you just mill everyone and remove their hands at the same time. 
and it's just a lot of different combo applications, especially for cards that care about tapping and untapping, because Phoenix gives everyone an untap ability. Well, I assume the Dust Metal Guild Mage was in there for like the Blood Chief, Mind Crank nonsense. Uh, Blood Chief, Mind Crank combo, yeah. And then it's just an extra piece for that. And we're at, my favorite. I, I was talking to someone the other day about when you were playing Phoenix, and I was like, I actually had a Phoenix combo mill deck. And my favorite combo in the deck, and I don't know if this card's still in budget right now, but it was back then, Intruder Alarm with uh, the Undead Alchemist. Undead Alchemist? Yeah. yeah. Is that yep, in that's there in too? The deck. Ooh. That's my and favorite actually, combo mill way to win with combo mill. What's actually fun is uh, you can set up a safety net behind it, because if you have Fenax out and Thousand Year Elixir, each of the zombies that you make can also tap to mill more to make sure you keep hitting. That's just good, clean fun. Well, usually just the yeah. untapping Phoenix because you're uh, just untapping Phoenix and Undead Alchemist because you're milling nine cards each time, so it's unlikely you miss, and then you stack yeah, the triggers. It, usually if you saying, get both of them and Phoenix in play at the same time, it's, it's yeah, GG. Yeah. I'm not saying like it's impossible for... It. It's very hard for the combo to miss while it's going off, so, but I have had it happen... So what you're so saying is, is all nice. the rest of you were playing some version of combo and Frexion just played plus one, plus one counters beat face. Yes. I drew lands. And drew lands. So I was tallying... That Fathom Mage saved the time. game for me. I was tallying every time I used my staff and five out of the six times I started counting were lands. And obviously, you're an experienced player, Phyrexian. You're aware of the uh, easy-peasy A plus B combo of Phoenix and Eater of the Dead. Yeah. yeah. But that's, that's, good. that's, that's good lame and boring. But I have it in the deck because it's an easy way to win, but that's not the way I want to win. It's not guaranteed, but it is. it, it gets there more often than not. And especially with a deck like mine, which was running about 29, 29 or 30 creatures... Um, you would have had an easier time milling me out for sure than you would have um, Dez or Brown. But thanks everybody for coming out and watching the game. Uh, it will be eventually up on the YouTube. So to those of you on the YouTubes, as our good friend Dez said before, like, comment, surprise, subscribe, watch some more of the uh, other, you know, 3DH games. Check them out. See how you you like those. Um, if you like this one, you'd probably like some of those. Um, and just so you know, Praetor Gaming is affiliated with Ink Gaming and TGC Player. That link will be in the description below. We do have a free to the public Discord, which you can join also linked in the description below. And you can hit us up on the Facebooks, the Twitters, and all of that. All the links will be in the description below um, for all those things. But if you're interested in learning more about 3DH and even learning to play 3DH, um, getting the pricing spreadsheet, all that, hit us up on the Discord. And if you need any help, you can add any of us on the Discord, and we'd be more than happy to help you. Um, that's all I got. Hey, Triumph. It's been a while since I've won with the Triumph of the Hordes. I had to do it. I had to. I know I didn't need it, a, but I had to. It's been a while since I've drawn so many lands. I think this makes up for like the two other games that we've recorded where I just got stuck with like no lands. <laughs> <laughs> Last week wasn't bad. Your Arami deck didn't get stuck. A Rami, no, but, but the, you just didn't draw uh, hard. Rebecca, yeah, yeah, Rebecca, yeah. Rebecca was rough, yeah, that one. But peace, everybody. Have a great night. Thanks for watching.